I'm Mr. Griggs, one of the art teachers here at Maynard Senior High School. Uh, the lesson that we're going to do this week and into next week, we're going to work with painting with coffee. So we're going to use instant coffee, dark roast, to make some artwork. Everything is mostly monochromatic. If we jump into some mixed media type of stuff, then it'll go a little bit beyond monochromatic, but still mostly monochromatic. So it's a simple play on words or based on memories and smell, sense of smell, sense of taste, anything that you know about coffee, any type of memories, like for instance, when I was in college, going to the coffee house was kind of a thing. You go to the coffee house and you study, but it was not uh, uncommon to see people spill coffee on uh, stuff that they've drawn up, paintings they've done, or spill coffee on uh, some of the work that they were handwriting. So it's kind of one of those things. So the first assignment we do will definitely be called the coffee spill. So we're just basically showing coffee being spilled in a unique way. All of these are soft brushes. So we have this pointy brush, these smaller brushes. We have the pointy brush. This will uh, kind of help us get little small spaces in the really tiny, small fine print areas. It's good if you're trying to trace a line that you've hand drawn. Uh, these brushes, the flat brushes right here, and all of them are soft. I don't know if I said that already, but these brushes are kind of just general brushes. We'll use these to kind of um, just dip them in water and stain the back of the paper, but a little bit more specific in spaces where you want maybe darker uh, stains or lighter stains and you've messed with the value. Same thing with these, it's just a little bit bigger than these brushes. The big brushes that we have here, these are gonna be like really just dip them in water. I mean, dip them in uh, coffee, dip them in water, and just kind of get that general base stain in the background. It gives you good value, good lines, and all of that good stuff where the coffee goes from darker to lighter in different spaces. So then of course we have the toothbrush. The toothbrush is gonna be good and it's gonna be really useful for these splatter techniques. A lot of students think that you have to go and you know, throw coffee around like we're in some kind of crazy movie or video, but you just put the coffee on the toothbrush and simply use your hand. You have a whole lot of control with this. You can make the splatters darker, you can make them lighter, you can do a bigger area or smaller area. So with these little ramekins that we have, you'll have your water in here. Actually, it won't be water in here at first. We have these and then we'll have the instant coffee. We will start by doing about three tablespoons, uh, three or four tablespoons of this. We'll just put it in here and then we'll slowly add water and stir it in. It's good to stir it with the brush because of the size of the cup. And so this gives us our darkest area. And then we have these other cups that have water, and especially cups like this size. We'll fill this one up just above halfway with water. And so after we have our dark coffee here, the simple process is we'll have a dark one here. We'll take the brush and then get some of the dark coffee, put it in here, do that about four times, and this will make our mid-tones. So this will be our darkest area. This will be our mid-tones, and that helps us kind of get spaces like this helps us blend going from the dark areas to the light areas and it gives us more control it's the same type of process you use for uh, watercolors so the first thing you'll do is stain the background for both of these assignments you'll stain the background get all of your splatter and your general splatter done and then you'll get a separate sheet of paper because this is specifically set for uh, watercolors and then you'll get a piece of drawing paper and they have a video tutorial and they will watch different ways to draw a coffee cup or a tea cup or just a basic small glass, however you want to call it. So they have a tutorial showing them how to do this in a really, really, really easy way. And then they'll cut this out and they must have shading and blending so you can see kind of where it's darker and lighter to give it more volume, give the illusion that light is kind of reflected off. Even in spaces, students that are at a higher level, they can come in and kind of show the liquid with the pencil drawing itself. And so that's gonna be a key component. So you draw this, cut them out, place these onto the uh, paper and they're raised and elevated. And then after that, you come back in with the coffee and you show the coffee being spilled from one glass to the next. I honestly think for the most part, students will stick to coffee being spilled, but I also think students will not just worry about a massive spill, but maybe small spots where coffee was spilled. Or for instance, or for something like this, 
where you may have coffee that was spilled on the table and you know if your cup sits down on it and then you take the cup with the coffee on the bottom and set it on the paper, it gives you these unique type of shapes that you can work with. And so I'm just interested to see how students explore these things. So this was a coffee, coffee stain. So I have one of these cups, dip it into some coffee and then sit it down here. Every stain that you get from that is unique and then see what you can do with this. I just decided to turn this into like a hollow pipe type of shape or tube. If you go to Mr. Griggs World of Art on YouTube, you can see this tutorial and a lot of tutorials that I've done in the past. And I use these specifically to teach students because it can go, uh, it's a tool that I use so students can work at their own pace. It also helps students that may need to find different ways to do it. So I try to do stuff and do one thing in different ways. That's why I have this uh, tutorial that I'll teach and show students. But I also have this. This one is a little bit more expressive and more freestyle. And so this is kind of based on what you feel, what you want to do, and uh, more expressive. This one has a bunch of expression in it, but this kind of has like a certain quality or theme to it.